This is ABC 7 News at 5.30. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. ABC 7's Alex Redmond joins us now with information on a place helping people on the Suncoast with Parkinson's disease. Alex. Thanks, Haley. Parkinson's is a degenerative disease, and the symptoms vary person to person and may include tremors, slowed movements, loss of balance, and changes in speech. But people with Parkinson's on the Sun Coast have a very special place to go that makes a difference in both their minds and their bodies. Hi, body. This is elbows. part of a special dance class. So her elbows were paintbrushes, right? One of the many programs offered at Parkinson Place in Sarasota. I start out my week with yoga. I love yoga. I go into dance on Tuesday with Lamus. Peter Joy, aptly named, has a love of life. Uh, there's a new program on nutrition that I really enjoy because nutrition is a very big particle part of, uh, of Parkinson's. You've got to eat right. Lemus Bolognas Wilmot says the dance class changes lives. What I'm doing is what I do with my company. I'm sharing the joy of dance. It's not different whether you have Parkinson's or not. Results dramatic. I've seen someone come in with a walker and a, after a few months being in my class, come in with not a walker. I've seen people come in not happy, and by the end of my class, there's joy. Larry Hofheimer founded the Parkinson's Research Foundation nationally 12 years ago in Parkinson Place in Sarasota in 2012. So doing the dem demographics of the three-county area, uh, from Charlotte to uh, Manatee and Sarasota, we end up with about uh, three to 4,000 Parkinson patients. There are many types of interventions, says Hofheimer, including the big program. It's a physical therapy program that forces you to do exercises, take big steps. Uh, it, you have to do homework. You have to do it at home. Joyce says the best part of Parkinson Place is the camaraderie. Everybody has the same problem you do, and there is no age discrimination here. We all are in the same boat. He says the programs take his mind off things and away from depression that so often accompanies Parkinson's disease. If I didn't have this to look forward to, I'd probably lay in bed and not do anything. It'd be tough to roll over. There is currently no cure for Parkinson's disease, but medication and therapy are used to treat the symptoms, which do vary person to person, which is why there is no standard treatment. And Alex, what's the most promising thing on the horizon for people with Parkinson's? Well, I would say that for a select few, the deep brain stimulation, as we showed you, ABC7, a few months back, that was very successful with, but again, with very few people. Uh, Levodopa, which is the medication that they came out with in the 1960s, is still the gold standard. Wow. We have a long way to go. We do. All right. This is ABC 7 News at 530. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you.